حضرت ابو موسا عشری رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ رپورٹس ان مسند احمد دیٹ پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیز ہو ایور لوز دا ورلڈ شیل ڈیمیج ہز ہیئر آفٹر وی نیڈ ٹو پریفر وی نیڈ ٹو میک ہیئر آفٹر ایز آر پریفرنس آئی ریپیٹ اگین پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ ہو ایور لوز دا ورلڈ لوز دا ورلڈ میننگس دیٹ ہی لوز ہی ڈیزائرز Whoever loves the world shall damage his hair after and whoever loves his hair after shall damage his world. Thus, that's what? Thus, once you are choosing between the world and hereafter, you should prefer what is lasting to what is transitory. So remember, as Allah says, وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَدْقَى وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَدْقَى is what? that when a person will make the world as the exclusive aim of his life, then he will live for it. His endeavors will all be directed towards the material aims and the interests of the world. And so his hereafter will get into the background. He will not take care about it. And this will lead to the loss of the hereafter. But if a person will set his heart to the hereafter, he will strive for it. for the best of his ability and so his worldly interests are bound to suffer in outcome so the basic object of our desires has to be the eternal hereafter hazrat abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in tirmizi and ibn majah the prophet sallallahu said the world is accused and what it contains is accused except remembrance of Allah and what he likes and the teachers and the taught. So the world actually is something which makes a man forget Allah and his way after. And then the person who just is remembering the world or bothered about the world, he becomes so much absorbed and involved in this world that he just forgives, forgets about Allah and he just forgets about his hereafter.